in today's video, I'm going to react into a video that is called um, Miley Cyrus and Metallica, Nothing Else Matters. Um, this is a different world for me. Um, I don't listen to Miley Cyrus. I don't listen to Metallica. Not because I don't like their music. It's that I'm not a huge fan. I've heard some songs from Miley Cyrus that I absolutely enjoyed. I cannot name them on the spot. And I've done, I think, two reactions to Metallica. The problem is, I think the first video went out very well. It was copyrighted, but I have no problems with that. And the second one got blocked, so I could not even do anything to upload that video. So I kind of stopped reacting to them at that point because I cannot um, make content out of it. I cannot react to the video and then be able to upload it because they shut it down immediately. So I don't know a lot about these artists, but it seems like here yeah, they're going to be collaborating to make a song that I think is Metallica's song. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please say so in the comment section below so I can find more Mighty Cyrus videos, find more Metallica videos. And I think they're doing this thing on a show called Howard Stern, which is the judge, which was one of the judges in AGT. So if you want me to, if you want to see me do more reactions to this show also, please say so in the comment section below. And if you have any song from one of these artists that you say, that you think I should react to, please write it down in the comment section below so I can find that song and try to react to it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the song that Miley's going to do with you guys to honor the Black Album. We're talking about Nothing Else Matters. We know from past conversations that, James, you said you didn't even want to present this song to the band because you thought it was too much of a love song. You were kind of ashamed of it. You were embarrassed to show this kind of emotion on a record, right? Yeah, absolutely. That was one of those just very vulnerable places. And, you know, that was the last thing, especially late 80s, you know, we built this reputation. It doesn't look like it's going to be a performance, and, you but know, even if it's not a performance, stone, I guess it'd be interesting us, to hear blah, blah, blah. their thoughts this on this. This is one of the most vulnerable oh, things, is. and obviously the tougher the armor, the bigger the heart you want to show, and, but you're afraid to. So I was, I was shocked when Bob Rock and Lars both said, that is beautiful. That's an amazing song. It was a life-changing experience to be okay playing this for them and them accepting it miley when you are now being asked to do this song and you know the importance of this song to the band who do you sing it to when i first started covering this song it was for glastonbury because it's about honoring music and nothing else matters at that moment when you're at glastonbury any of the shit that is said about me it's my moment to kind of prove myself because it's just mm -hmm. focused on the music and when i did glastonbury it was the first time that i went I didn't have any of the gags. Um, the the first guy. I'm not familiar with their name, so I can imagine someone getting pissed and saying, "First what?" The first guy talked about um being afraid of presenting this song that seems to be from Miley Cyrus. My understanding from what I've heard so far is the song is theirs. She did a cover of the song and she did it differently. It seems like she presented it in a what in a he, he he said it's like a love story if i'm remembering this well so it seems like the way she presented the song he did not want to bring that style of singing towards his group because i would say his fandom um is a different is different from miley cyrus's fandom his fans are very different from miley cyrus's fans so he doesn't know if another band that he performs with is going to enjoy the song or even the fans are going to be able to enjoy the song. That's what I'm getting here so far. And since I don't know anything about the song, um, I think I did a reaction to this song, Nothing Else Matters. And I think it was covered by, um, it was covered by Chris Stapleton. I remember the video was like eight minutes long and he was singing a song called And Nothing Else Matters. Na, 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 which I'm guessing is their song. So I don't know a lot about the song or the original one to comment on if whether if, if I was someone enjoying the original song, I would hate the version which they're talking about, which I also do not know anything about. But yeah, it seems interesting. Like I said, it seems like this is not a performance. They're going to be talking about it, but I might as well listen to it if I'm going to react to this video in the future. No gimmicks. I wore pants and a shirt, and it was right before actually that the world knew that I was getting a divorce, but I knew that I was about two weeks before Glastonbury, 
and um, I had just lost my house in the fires, and this was my first show back, and so I nothing else matters to me was about the music because, you know, this whole conversation is just resonating with me to hear like James say that he was afraid of something, and knowing that at that point I was afraid of so much, I was so heartbroken. And my purpose was coming from this performance. Um, I got sober at that time. I really pulled my fucking shit together. And this song was what drove me to that place because I knew that nothing else mattered. My, my life in, in regards to love was kind of falling apart, but I had my love for music. So this is my love letter to music. That's what it means to me. Oh, wow, that's, that's great. Beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to do this together. Let's do this. Let's celebrate Let's the Black it. Album. Right. Let's celebrate oh. this band. Let's celebrate Miley please, with the band so. and try it. So it seems like this version is not very far off from the Chris Stapleton version. In fact, I would say they are similar. So it means I kind of have an idea of what the original may sound like or sounds like. And yeah, she's doing um, a great job. The first, the first voice you used when she was starting, um, I thought it was unique. I thought it was unique. I felt like she was using her talking voice or she was trying to make it seem deep, um, something like that. But uh, as the song is progressing, I'm starting to enjoy it more and more. Couldn't be much more from the heart Forever trust in who we are No, nothing else matters Never care for what they do Never care for what they do
Wow. But now it just confused me because in the beginning he said, let me explain this. I will try and explain this thing properly because in the video I didn't do a great job. Um, what I was saying is that the lead singer said that this song, he was scared of presenting it to the band because it was too much of a love song. But having reacted to the Chris Stapleton version of the song, reacted to the voice play cover version of the song, and listening to the one in the video, it sounds like they all sound the same. So I was confused by that part where he said he was scared of presenting the song because it's too much of a love song. They all sound the same. So that's exactly what I was saying, saying that I'm, I'm confused by that. But I truly enjoyed this performance. Like I said, in the beginning, I thought this was going to be like a performance. Then I saw them talking. I thought it was going to be an explanation of the song. And then there was a performance, which I was looking forward to. And I absolutely enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed the video too, please say so in the comment section below. And if you know some of the Metallica songs that I could react to, that possibly may not be... That other creators are able to react to them and um, do not experience like problems like videos getting blocked, Please say so in the comment section below because I would like to dive into that and understand why Ameri Americans um, mainly are huge fans of these guys. But like I said, up until next time, peace.